With today's increasingly competitive market, it's important to look at ways to become more efficient, increase productivity and provide a safe work environment. LightGuard Trench Shields offer ground support solutions. Light, portable, complies with safety regulations, cost effective, time saving, designed to be positioned by a small 1.5 ton skid steer backhoe excavator, LightGuard Trench Shields provide a safe work environment up to four meters deep in the worst ground conditions. Before commencing any excavation, we recommend a job safety analysis should be performed and you wear the following protective apparel, a hard hat, safety vest and safety boots. When preparing the trench shield for assembly, a minimum of two people are required to lift shields from the vehicle or trailer. One of the many benefits of the LightGuard trench shield system is the use of hardened steel pins and R-clips to hold the various components together. This time-saving idea allows the units to be assembled easily. To begin assembly, place the four spreaders over the holes provided. Insert the supplied hardened steel pins and R-clips. This ensures that the spreaders will remain safely in place. Spreaders can be extended from 600 millimeters to 900 millimeters, 900 millimeters to 1200 millimeters, 1200 millimeters to 1500 millimeters, and 1500 millimeters to 1800 millimeters. To adjust spreaders, select the desired length, insert the hoop pin into the nearest hole and tighten by rotating the locking nut. Ensure that all other spreaders are at the same length. LightGuard trench shields have been designed with a small excavator in mind and three units can be lifted by a small 1.5 tonne excavator, skid steer loader or backhoe. Secure the lifting chain to the excavator before attaching to the shield. When fastening the lifting chain to the light guard trench shield, check that the chains are not tangled or twisted as this may damage or break chains when the shield is being lifted. To add an extension, place the guide shoes in the centre of the lower shield. This prevents the extension from slipping off the lower shield when securing the extension joiners and also assists in holding the two shields in alignment when in the ground. This same procedure is used when adding extensions to any of the light guard trench shield range. When the shield is being lowered, help guide the shield into place. In the unlikely event of a chain breaking, remember to keep a reasonable distance from the shield in case the shield should fall. Keep hands away from underneath the top shield as it's being lowered to avoid them being jammed between the two shields. While the excavator is still holding the top shield, place the extension joiners provided. Secure the joiners with the same hardened steel pins and R-clips method as with the spreader bars. It's advisable to have a person help steady the shield unit as it's moved to the excavation site and lowered into the hole. To allow easy access to the underground environment, place a ladder at one end. Legs. In attaching legs to the bottom of the shield, use the excavator to lift the shield high enough so legs can be inserted into the slots provided at each corner. While holding the leg in place, secure with the hardened steel pins and R-clips supplied. Cutting edge. It's best to attach the cutting edge when the panel is flat on the ground. Secure with a hardened steel pin and R-clip at each end. Handrails. Handrails can be added to the top of the shield before being placed in the trench. The framework is secured to each corner using the hardened steel pin and R-clip with the crossbars inserted into the places provided. Once in place, these crossbars can be secured by tightening the screws. The Super Trench Shield is constructed while still on its side. Spreaders range in widths of 600 millimetres, 800 millimetres, 1 metre, 1.2 metres, 
1.5 meters, 1.8 meters, and 2 meters. Attach the appropriate spreaders and fasten with the hardened steel pins and R clip method. Using the excavator to lift the second panel, guide it into position and secure it with the hardened steel pins and R-clips. The excavator can now lift the unit upright. To add an extension, place an inverted second super trench shield on top of the first. Apply the same fastening method as described for the standard trench shield previously. Attach two spreaders at each end to construct the access chamber box. These bars are secured in place using the hardened steel pins and R-clips supplied. Placing a second access chamber on top increases its depth. Apply the same fastening method as described for standard trench shield previously. One of the benefits of this unit is the additional sliding shutter doors allowing access points for pipes on all sides. Ideal for small excavations or working around services, these sets are easily assembled using the same spreaders, hardened steel pins and R-clips found in all the light guard trench shield range. Place the sets 1200 millimetres apart and 600 millimetres each end of the excavation. When extracting any of the units seen in this program, remember to make certain that the lifting chain is secure and not tangled. Hold chains until taut. This helps prevent links failing when the unit is being lifted. Thank you for taking the time to view these training procedures. Providing safe, strong and effective ground support.